This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar covering the new features in Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, this is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll illustrate several hidden new features in the Final Cut browser. Inside List View, when I'm looking at projects or clips, at the top of the List View, there are a series of columns. We can grab a column and put it in a different place simply by grabbing it and dragging it, the same as we would with Excel. If we control click on a column header, I can specify data that appears inside the browser. What's new is this one right here, last modified. When you select it, we gotta go find where it put it, right there, grab it and drag it. I can now see the last date that I modified this clip. To me, this is much more useful than content created. When was the last time I changed a project? Or when was the last time I changed a clip? This last modified, not only can we display it, but if I click on it, it will sort in ascending, click again, or descending order, the same way as I can select and sort on name in ascending or descending order, simply by clicking on the column header. Change the position of the column header by dragging, grab between column headers to change the width of a column. Everything works exactly as it always has inside Final Cut, except now we have a new piece of data, which is the last modified date. If I control click on a project, new options appear, and two of these are significant. Play will play a project in the timeline. This will be grayed out if the project is not open in the timeline. Opening the project will move it from the browser into the timeline so we can, in fact, play it. Sharing the project allows us to share it to a variety of sources, depending upon how our destination preferences are set. We can move a project to the trash, but these are the ones I want to take a second and talk about. Duplicate project, which duplicates it. Duplicates a project as, which duplicates it and allows us to rename it. And snapshot a project. There's a trap here. When you duplicate a project, it will duplicate the project, and if there are compound clips or multicam clips in the project, it will take and not make those independent. That is to say, if I have an old project with a compound clip in it, and I duplicate it to a new project, if I change that compound clip in the old project, it will also change in the new. If I change it in the new, it will also change it in the old. The links for a compound clip and a multicam clip are dynamic and are changed everywhere from wherever that clip appears. Same thing with duplicate project as. Snapshot a project makes compound clips and multicam clips independent. So that if I snapshot a project, if I change a compound clip in the old project, it does not change in the new project. This is important. If you're trying to preserve a rough cut and make sure that there are no changes reflected as you continue at, say, a different version, make a point to always create a snapshot. To me, snapshot should be the default and duplicate should be the special case. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 292. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We've updated multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at LarryJordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 292. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. 
you can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than nineteen hundred movies on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We've updated multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.